Hi, I'm Jerry James Stone. In today's video, well, my friend Jason Barros is gonna show you how to make some amazing desserts. Instead of me telling you what it is, I'm gonna let him do it. Hi everyone, I'm Jason Barrows with jerryjamesstone.com. Today we're going to make some 4th of July parfaits with blueberries and strawberries. Here we go. All right, so we're gonna start making our um, classic pound cake. Take our butter, uh, slightly chilled, and put that into the mixer of Butter is cut into tablespoon sizes. And then we're going to start this up and mix for about two to three minutes until it's very creamy and shiny. All right, we're gonna turn our mixer on medium for about two to three minutes. Okay, now that our butter has uh, been mixing for about two or three minutes, we want to make sure that we scrape down the sides of the bowl, any of the butter that's accumulated up at the top, we wanna to make sure that's down on the bottom. So we'll just tilt our mixer up here. And then our next step is the uh, sugar. And we're going to add that in very slowly while we're running the mixer for about another two minutes. And we're gonna do it slowly so that it takes about a minute for the sugar to actually be incorporated into the mix. So here we go. Okay, now that our sugar has been incorporated, we do want to scrape down the sides of the bowl again. Okay, now that we've scraped down our bowl, we're going to then let this go for about another five to eight minutes until it's almost white and very creamy. So here we go again. All right, now our next step, we're going to add our vanilla to our eggs and our egg yolks, and we're going to whip those together until they're uniform in color. Here we go. All right, we've finished whisking our egg yolks and vanilla, and now we're going to slowly pour this into the bowl. Uh, it should take about a minute, so you want to do it nice and slow. Now that we've incorporated our egg yolks into the batter, we are going to run this for another three minutes. All right, we're all finished. So uh, one of the reasons why we're taking so many steps in this pound cake is to make sure that we have a really nice domed pound cake. Um, sometimes they can be kind of flat. And by doing these little extra steps, uh, watching the temperature of your butter and really making sure that there's air incorporated into your batter, will make structure and will really make sure that we get a nice, high, large, um, classic pound cake. All right, after we um, scrape down our paddle, we're going to add our um, cake flour by hand. We're not going to use the mixer. We want to be really delicate with all the structure that we've already made inside this batter and we don't want to beat that down. So we're going to take the bowl off of the mixer here. So now we're going to put our cake flour in three additions into the batter. This is sifted so we can make sure that we don't have any lumps. So we're going to just take a third of this in and lightly fold it in with a rubber spatula making sure that we scrape all the way down to the bottom so that we have no dry pockets of flour. Okay, and then we're gonna add our second third here. And our last third. All right, now we're done mixing and I'm going to pour my batter into a prepared pan. I like to use parchment paper and I use these metal binder clips to keep the paper uh, sort of just stationary so it doesn't come fly back and stick back onto the, uh, the cake. Alternatively, you can butter your um, pan and dust that with flour and then just make sure you bang out the extra flour just so you don't have any pockets of flour on the pan. And here we go. I'm going to pour into the pan here. Nice and creamy. Okay, we've got all our batter out of the bowl. And now we're going to smooth the top of our batter with our spatula, just so we have a nice, even layer. 
So next up is we're ready for the oven. We want to put this into a preheated 325 degree oven and we'll put that in there for 70 to 80 minutes. So low and slow for this one. And here we go. All right, now we've pulled our uh, loaf from the oven and we want this to cool on a wire rack for about 15 minutes, just so it's got enough time to cool there. And then once we um, do that, we will take that out and put that on the wire rack for about two hours to come to room temperature. So I'm gonna take my little clips off here so we can access and pull out the parchment paper. And this is why I like to use parchment because I've made myself a little, little sling for this. Just grab the um, parchment, lift that on up and down onto your cooling rack. So we're gonna take our pound cake, we're gonna cut that into slices and then cube that into one inch, about one inch cubes. We're gonna go ahead and do that now. Just cutting up more slices into one inch cubes here. They don't have to be exact, just relatively square. All right, we've got our heavy whipping cream here. We're going to add that to the bowl. We have a pint here. And we've got our sugar, a couple of tablespoons, and of course, our vanilla. Since we've got liquid in the bowl, we don't want to start this off very fast. So we're just going to start really low and slow for about a minute. Once your cream thickens slightly, then you can turn it on a little bit quicker and this will go a lot faster. So here we go. So I'm gonna take a look. Uh, what we're looking for is a soft peak. And the way that you can tell is by taking your whisk, dipping it down into the whipped cream and looking at it to see if there's a peak. So let's go ahead and do that now. And the reason why you want soft peak is that you want your whipped cream to have structure but not be too firm and not too runny. And so as it is right now, we are too runny. Okay, so we're gonna spin the whipped cream for another minute or two just to see um, if we can get this a little firmer, just be really careful because it can go stiff pretty quick. So the importance of, of how um, stiff or soft your peaks are depends on what it is that you're doing with it. Um, you don't want it runny, so you want this, if you're gonna be layering any kind of dessert, you want it to still have structure, but still you know, be creamy. If you take it too far and it gets too hard, you will start tasting butter. It will actually turn into butter and you definitely don't want that. So here we have soft peak whipped cream ready for any dessert that you have. So we've made our pound cake, we've cut that into cubes, we have our whipped cream made and our fruit all ready. So now we're just ready to build everything. So first we're gonna start with a layer of our pound cake. And we're going to put a few cubes, about three or four, in the bottom. And then next we're gonna use the blueberries. All right, and then we want a layer of our whipped cream. So I'm just compacting these down a little bit, so I'm just giving them a little tap, just so they can kind of make layers and make room for everything else that we're going to put on top of these. Okay, so we're ready for another uh, couple of cubes of cake. These we can push down a little bit more because we've got some layers below us. Just gonna push that down. All right, and now we're gonna move on to our strawberries. All right, and then we're gonna just top it off with some more whipped cream. Feel free to go back and garnish if you'd like on the top, a little bit of blueberries, just to kind of keep the colors alternating. All right, everyone, thanks for tuning in. Uh, thanks for watching us make um, 4th of July parfaits. You can actually customize this to be any way you like it. If you'd like to sub out the uh, strawberries for raspberries, or if you don't want to stick with the red, white, and blue theme, you can add in any other fruits you like. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.